a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from New York. A big fight the feel inside the arena right now for the steel Diana. cage match. And keep in mind that that cage is not just here to keep these two inside the ring. As we've seen countless times in the past, it can also be used as a cold and incredibly unforgiving weapon. Big time singles matches on deck here. And Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Well, the door's locked, and at wow. this point, the competitors might just be wondering exactly what they've gotten themselves into. Finds its mark. She's on the defensive now. She's going to need to find a way to mount an offense here. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in the steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Ugh. Big backdrop. You spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and be prepared for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Corey, you said something to Look out! What a clothesline! Ouch! Now that's how you make a statement. This might be it! Oh my! 
This could end it in a hurry. The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1980. That one definitely hurt, Cole. We got a cover. No early kick out. It's going to take more than that to keep her down. Corey, the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One was so heated that no one knew what to expect once the She's looking at it. She better do something fast. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Look out! Big move coming! Wait for it! When she gets in attack mode, look out! Once again, thank you for tuning into this great women's matchup. Who knows what's going to happen? This match could go anywhere. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. He survived, and this cage match is in the books. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. This was another great moment. Almost forgot about this one. Look at her go. And so it goes. Here is your winner, the Terror. And there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us.